Starting a new league is one of the most exciting things in Path of Exile, but with no direction you may feel like you're missing out on an opportunity to see the new content first and profit from or play with all the cool new items. In this video I'll go over what you can do before the league even starts in order to make the most out of a league start. Hello Exiles, this is Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming, and welcome to another Path of Exile video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when I put out new Path of Exile content. I would also like to announce the public opening of my channel Discord. The address will be in the description and on my channel page. Feel free to pop in and ask questions or post your own builds and ideas for the upcoming League Start. Now let's get into the good stuff. The first thing you'll want to do when setting up for a new league is set some goals, specifically what you want to do with your first character. Before you even know what build you want to play, you should know if your character is going to be one you stick with and end up transitioning into good gear, or if it's going to be a currency earning character to gear up a character that you won't be able to afford or build right out of the gate. There are some builds that can tackle most, if not all, content right from the start and don't particularly need any extremely rare or super late game uniques. If your plan is to farm Sirius right from the gate, find one of those that hasn't been nerfed in the patch notes and go for it. Otherwise, you'll probably want some sort of speed clearing build to get through the maps as soon as possible. This will allow you to farm profitable things like Masters and League Mechanics in order to get a small fortune to put towards a Savior or Eternity Shroud or maybe some other crazy item for your next build so that you can do it all. On top of knowing your goal, it's also good to find a currency farming strategy that synergizes with your endgame goal. Whether it be Chaos Recipe, Fossil Farming, going after specific divination cards, metacrafting gear, or prophecy spamming, you should know what you're going to be doing to generate currency before you start planning your character. Spamming for divination cards, for instance, doesn't necessarily synergize with a boss clearing endgame build as most fast bossers aren't also fast clears, at least not with the limited gear you'll probably have in the first few days of the league. So I would pick one or more methods of currency generation that work with your endgame goal and really focus on those so you aren't sitting around thinking about what you have to do next and wasting precious farming time. Once you know what you're aiming for in the endgame and how you plan on generating currency, it's finally time to set up a build. Before the patch notes release, it's difficult to know for sure what you're going to be playing, so I would set up plans for at least a couple of different builds that have proven viable. As tempting as it is to play a new skill, I would avoid it unless it's very clearly going to be overpowered in some way, whether that be because of available scaling or obviously broken clear potential. Also, make sure you watch out for previously nerfed skills or mid-tier skills being buffed. For example, Last League saw Arc being buffed and it was very clearly going to be powerful with the mind changes and a lot of people ended up playing that. I personally am going to be aiming to play with one of the new unique jewels, one with nothing, which allows you to play an unarmed build with great bonuses at the cost of your gloves and weapon and shield slots. This is obviously not something I'll be able to play immediately, but I can plan a generic skill tree that'll make it for an easy respec when the time comes, and I can slot it in after that. I think choosing a build that works without a specific new unique but would greatly benefit from it is usually a pretty solid idea as it bridges the gap between fun and consistency together very nicely and gives you a solid goal to strive towards. So in short, if you plan on using one of the new uniques, build something that works without it to ensure that you can farm for it since the price will be unknown. Use a tried and true build that can be done with multiple skills in case the one you plan to be using is nerfed. Consider cheap and common uniques to add temporarily to your build for transitioning. Level with a fast leveling build that's close to your final build. Using these tips will help you out a ton in setting up your league start alone, but there is more to starting a league than a build and a plan. There are many tools you can use to help you along with your league start. One of the most important is your loot filter. Having the right loot filter for you will ensure you're not picking up a ton of things that you don't need off the ground, which slows you down. You can also customize your loot filter on a site like Filter Blade, allowing you to highlight certain items to make sure you don't miss out on important drops. 
Perhaps you want to make sure that you can craft a good siege axe at the end of the game. You can make sure that you never miss out on one by giving it a special size, color, and notification sound on your filter. You'll also want to make sure that you're watching all the trade sites as well as having the useful sites up such as PoE Ninja and PoE DB. This will ensure that you have access to all of the information you need to make informed decisions about pricing, crafting, builds, and the general meta during the league start. I like to see which builds are going to be strong in the first couple of days and try to craft gear that's useful for those builds as it'll generally sell quickly and for a good profit. If you enjoyed this video, check out one of my others that YouTube thinks you'll like on the screen right now and consider becoming a channel member by hitting the join button below. This has been Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming and I will see you next time. Bye!